we were talking, I was talking with Tilda sort of about formative movies that you, that you see when you're, when you're young, and I'm wondering if there was a movie or a performance that you guys, that you saw at an early age that kind of changed your life or made you think you wanted to be an actor. No, but we were talking about we were eroticism. Talking about, we were talking, we were talking about, about eroticism. About yeah. Seeing films right. when you're 14. <laughs> right. <laughs> away. Yeah. Well, right. I mean, Let's I'm telling right the truth here. That's what we were talking yeah. about. Yeah. We were yeah. talking yeah. about being 14 and mm -hmm. seeing, or talking about my children who are 14 and beginning to see kind of feed them stuff. Right, right. And uh, we were talking yeah. about seeing Vertigo for the first time. Let's talk about eroticism. It's more yeah. fun. Was there, what was like the erotic movie that you saw, the erotic moment in a movie? If you can, if there was one. When I remember being maybe nine years old and catching a glimpse of uh, body heat, mm -hmm. of them in bed, mm -hmm. and Catherine's hand, but over the covers on his crotch area, and I started crying. Mm. And I've been damaged ever since. <laughs> so did William Hurt, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> when that came out, though, that was an incredibly sexy. Very. Film. Oh my yes. God! I remember the image of her in the white and the wind blowing, blowing the curtains, and you know, just, yeah. That was my first little, mm. I guess, tingling sensation. <laughs> we, I grew up in Kentucky, we had drive-in uh, theaters. Yeah. Uh, and I remember sitting, watching, which is still, to me, amazing that they did Last Hang on Paris at a drive-in theater. Mm. Yeah, and I was, driving. yeah, <coughs> which was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, in Kentucky, you can imagine. Uh, and I remember th seeing that and thinking that. What an erotic that. state that yes. is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Look at that sheep. Yeah. <laughs> Get out the Velcro gloves. <laughs> but isn't the drive-in all about tingling sensations? I always it imagine was. you could you could see Bambi in a drive-in and, and get a tingling yeah. sensation. Well, it was any chance you could to get yeah. alone. Yeah, I was going to say know, someone. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Of course, the movies weren't that erotic. Well, there were no movies when I grew up. <laughs> 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 there was barely a stage. You know, there was st state cave Radio paintings. hadn't really started yet, <laughs> but I still had a, a, an erotic experience. Nonetheless, I didn't need any of the media. <laughs> to, uh, to me you just needed to be an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> Absolutely. I think my first, if you really are interested in, uh, yeah. in knowing that, uh, was Hedy Lamar, actually, in mm. Ecstasy. Ecstasy. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That was really very daring. Yeah. Uh, then, it was like a kind and of I should think even now. Yeah. And I don't know if they were her tits, and <laughs> I don't think so. If I, yeah. I remember my research, heavy research I did on the, on the project. But I think there was somebody else's body really? and Hedy's gorgeous face. So I've often wondered what she looked like mm -hmm. without. I think it was Wonder Woman for me, to be honest. I was always trying to catch her in between the change. <laughs> in the spin? <laughs> you, just, you couldn't even slow it down. It felt though. unusual. <laughs> Things were happening to me. I didn't understand. Cartoons were on the other channel, but I, you know, I was like, eh, let's watch Wonder Woman for a while. So that was probably the first. That's amazing. Yeah. 